Hello everybody, welcome to another video about machine learning. Today we are going to learn about activation function. We are going to write Python code for each activation function and then at the end we are going to use this activation function in our machine learning code. Let's run it and we got it here. The first activation function let's do first with sigmoid the the most famous one so this is uh, the graph for sigmoid activation function you don't need to know a lot about it just uh, for your information this is how it looks uh, here is the derivative of this function of sigmoid function and the derivative uh, of the sigmoid function going to be sigmoid function times 1 minus sigmoid function you guys don't need to the this mass it doesn't uh, need just if you're going to do research and go very deep you may want to learn this otherwise you don't need to so we learned uh, the function and its uh, derivative let's do that so i just defined the sigmoid function of z which return the 1 over 1 plus exponential of minus z. That's our sigmoid function. Let's run it. And do one example with it. Sigmoid function of 10 minus 10. going to be this value right here if it's 10 this value so we got it let's do the derivative of the sigmoid function okay here it is the sigmoid prime derivative of sigmoid function we have sigmoid function and as you uh, saw just before the derivative of sigmoid function is sigmoid function times 1 minus sigmoid function I again if you are not uh, doing research and you don't want to go deep that's enough you don't need to go further so let's uh, run sigmoid prime function for 10 run it what happened oh okay i haven't drawn it yet yeah you got it and if I do it minus 10 then right here we get it the next actuation function which is very similar to sigmoid one is tangent hyperbolic function which look like this the blue one is a tangent hyperbolic x it gives you between whatever you give the x value it's going to give you between minus one and one that's the property we want and this is the derivative of the uh this function let me show it right here so this is the tangent hyperbolic and this is what we need one minus tangent hyperbolic powered by two so function derivative of the function is equal to 1 minus the function itself powered by 2 so let's write the function so that's simple define the tangent function return numpy dot tangent hyperbolic z that's it let's uh, run for hyperbolic function of like 10 run it that's we we got if we put minus 10 it's gonna be something like close to minus one yeah right here so let's do the derivative of this tangent hyperbolic function okay so tangent tangent hyperbolic prime of z gonna be uh, right here one minus tangent hyperbolic of z 
powered by 2. So let's run this one and see it, if it works. This is like really simple ways. I'm like putting the stuff together at the end we will have a code for machine learning so this part are simpler and easy to learn you guys stay with me and go with that at the end we will got good reward which is uh, machine learning code so that's what we got if i put it 20 got about zero zero minus 20 again zero because it's the slope is zero when we reach that point 0.5 yeah. okay let's go for the next one a reload is the next one we are going to write a function for it so here it is the graph for reload function reload function is a very simple one it says when my x value is less than zero, put it at zero, and if it's more than zero, whatever it is, my y gonna be equal to that. This line is y equal x with slope of one. So the derivative of that for less than zero gonna be zero, for more than zero gonna be one. This is slope is one, so one. If you don't get this, that's fine. Do not be disappointed. You just remember what was the reload and how you write the function. So here is the function I already have. So if z is 0 or less than 0, we want it to give us 0. If it's more than 0, we want to be z. So just what we need, the maximum value between 0 and z. Again, if it's the z is 1, it's going to return you 1. If is minus one, it's gonna give you zero. All like that. That's simple. Let's run it for an example. Zero of minus ten. Uh, zero of minus ten gonna be zero. Zero of 10 should be 10 right here. So let's do the derivative one. So do you remember the derivative was zero or one? If the z value was less than zero or equal to zero, the derivative value gonna be zero. And if it's more than zero is positive, this is the this derivative of the Z gonna be one, so it's gonna return Z. That's the mm, derivative value. Let's run it for like ten. If I put ten, it's gonna give me one, right? Yeah, one. And if I put minus ten, it should give me zero. Yeah, so let's do another one called leaky reload, which is completely same as the reload one. The only difference is rather than having zero and z, you're gonna have a small value for this one. Let me show you your graph. This is the graph of the leaky reload. You know, the difference with relo is rather than being 0, is like 0.01x. Okay, just, you know, we change from here to here. So the derivative for more than 0 going to be 1, and for less than 0 going to be 0.01x. Again, we don't need to know everything very well. So... I just need to copy this and paste it right here and do it leaky reload reload and 
new prime Kyria. So here, rather than zero, I'm just going to have 0 0.010. And here, I will say if it's zero and less than zero, give me one. And that's it. So let's run it. See what we got. Minus one. And if it's plus 10, it's going to be 10. That's right for this. And for the prime, it's going to be 1. That's right. And if it's minus, it's going to be point. Zero one, that's right. So we got all done, but one thing here we can put all of them in one function and make it like more professional and pretty. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, I have already done it. I'm gonna just paste here and show you guys, and then uh, I will ask you to do it the, as a class format. So here it is what I have. So import numpy as mp. And then I'm saying activation function takes z and activation function and name of the function. Okay. Like for example, and then I say if activation function is uh, leaky reload, do this operation. And if it's reload, do this operation. If it's sigmoid, this operation and if it's tangent hyperbolic this operation and then another function for activation function prime the same thing i'm saying if the activation function is relo leaky relo do this way this operation if it's relo this operation and if it's sigmoid do this operation as well as tangent hyperbolic so what you guys can do please write this uh, function in a class format so I can use everywhere so you you just gonna have a class and then uh, Z gonna be here self point Z equal to Z and actuation function gonna be self act that actuation uh, you guys do that and post in the comment uh, I will use one of your code thank you very much and please do not forget to subscribe to see my other videos.